although adultism is recently being discussed, uh, it's actually something that's a bit more common than we might think. Many of us experience adultism, and uh, even as we grow and continue uh, into adulthood, many of us experience adultism as well, but uh, maybe just a lot of times we're not aware of it. The main thing I think about is how um, it adjusts and it shapes your personality. Until yesterday, I thought adultism were of age individuals. Adultism to me means a fancy word for do what I say. I think it hinders a young person's growth and development and creates a level of codependence for one's parents or old adult figure um, that the young person is trying to release to have their own independence. Hold on, man. Grown folks is talking. Do my job. You do what I say. What you need to do is get a job. Dude, you think you about to stay at my house and not pay no bills? If you can't stay under my roof and respect me where I pay the bills, you can go. You know, you grow up in a, in a household where everybody's like, you do what I tell you to do or, you know, my way or the highway. You know, that's all things of adultism. And, it's, and it makes it to where the child doesn't really grow organically on his own you know uh, not everyone who experiences adultism views it the same uh, some have been able to use those negative experiences to move them towards positivity and success yeah. or is more positive for you it's way positive i i just had a conversation with my father today and i told him i said everything has to happen for a reason i can't blame you for where i'm at but if I allowed myself to blame you, that means I would have still been stuck in area one instead of getting to area C, you know? So I have to make the change in my environment and it made me have more respect for my parents. Right. Like my father and my mother, I got into the situation I'm in now, it's not because of them, they did the best that they can. But how I showed that I am grateful for how they made me become the woman I am today is by becoming an adult and taking responsible taking responsibility of my life at the end of the day. The elderly people that I've come across, um, taking into consideration their experiences and how they impacted our decision making today. So, for example, like um, we often hear, you know, like. Um, I've already lived through this. Um, this is why I'm telling you, you know, what you should do. Uh, some, sometimes, you know, the whole approach of uh, adults know better. They know what's right. They know how to conduct uh, the, the youth's life. You know, that's wrong sometimes because you got to understand uh, that in life, sometimes youth know more than, than you do. The classic, because I said so. Uh, that's what comes to mind when I think of adultism and I, I really think that adultism is an expression of a lack of self-awareness I believe it's dismissive we're telling you to do this because um, we already been through this or did this and it went this way and we don't want you to make the same mistake that we made um, so that's what adultism to me that's what it signifies to me the reason why I have this view is because therapy mm. I say therapy. Uh -huh. If I was where I was at two months ago, I wouldn't have this view because I realized the only person who is at fault for their actions once they get to a certain age is myself. Uh -huh. Do any of you think that uh, when interacting with our participants that you may have cross that line over into adultism? I believe as long as we stay rooted in our mission um, in providing comprehensive services, Absolutely. adultism is not a part of our opportunity in our exchange with our participants. Absolutely. So I, I look forward to continuing to share this space, these intimate spaces with our participants where they're free and open to reveal um, where they are in their process of developing into uh, adults. So um, I think as long as I stay tuned and I keep my, my ear, my heart open, um, I think I can avoid that.